Hi guys! So welcome to today's pick a card reading. We are going to be looking at who is stalking you. I actually had like a dilemma because I was like I don't know which reading I want to do because I tweeted today and I was like do you guys want to be messy today for once <laughs> and look at who's stalking you because of this download I had this morning. But I was like, I don't know if I want to do a who's stalking you, pick a card, uh, what's the gossip when you pick a card, or who's sending you evil eye. And I've already done the evil eye once, like a good bit. So I was like, it's between the who's stalking you and what's the gossip on you readings. But then I also was like, you know what, like, why do we have to choose in life? Why can't we just do both? So that's exactly what we're doing today. But it comes with a little twist. So clearly this is the Who's Stalking You video. But if you want to get access to the gossip, like what's the gossip on you, that's for members. So you can either join my collective on my website, zapsareindieinstein.com slash become a member and join any tier. It'll be under pick a card readings. Or you can just quick and easy join my YouTube membership. All you literally have to do is like just look next to my name right now and click join and you'll get access to that video as well as many other videos, okay? So we're going to get right into it. I'm actually so like excited to do this. I've been waiting to do it all day. I'm just sitting here with my hair mask on, giving myself a makeover. But while the mask is in, I'm like, I'm going to film this for you guys. But I'm just like so excited to do this reading because I never get to do these types of readings. I'm so grateful for the fact that I have a collective that is so aligned. Like the clients that I attract only really care about their spiritual development. Love and like those juicy readings. Like I don't get messy readings. I don't think I've ever really had someone come to me for a messy reading. Like a, you know... This person, da, 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 this person, da, da, da. like maybe one time, one or two times I can think of in the last like year or two, I've had people ask me like messy questions. But even love, people don't get love readings like that from me often. Um, my most popular reading is the spiritual purpose reading. People just really care about the spiritual development and like. Like the people that like the clients that I attract just really care about their spiritual development. I think that's so dope and so cool that you guys like are really into that and like love isn't really your priority, but also sometimes I'm like, damn, I want more love readings so we can get a little juicy. So I'm so excited to do this reading actually. So we could actually finally get to look into something juicy. Okay. I'm not gonna lie though, the past life readings do get kind of juicy sometimes it's like damn what was your like what was your story like how did you get here and some of you guys have messy stories <laughs> so those get juicy too but yeah other than that so you guys are going to choose from the following highlighters we have one two and three please don't choose which one you think is the prettiest or like has the best color that's not <laughs> choosing with your intuition i want you guys to choose with your intuition like intuitively which highlighter really calls to you for this topic so i want you to close your eyes right and pause this if you need to get into a meditative space and even meditate before this if you need to or just take three deep big breaths and i want you to ask yourself like your inner self who is stalking me right and then I want you to open your eyes and intuitively the first highlighter that jumps out at you, not visually, but intuitively, that's the highlighter that has a message for you. Okay, so we're going to get right into it starting with highlighter one. Please make sure you guys completely read the description box and the pinned comment because there is important information that you need to know regarding in-person readings in the DMV area, Orlando, Miami, in LA within the next month or so that I want you guys to be able to get access to if you're interested, okay? All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with highlighter number one. And yeah, who's stalking you? Okay, so pile one, who is stalking your age let's get right into it keep in mind that this is a collective reading so although this can resonate don't take every single thing especially if it doesn't stick 
you know, this isn't just a reading for you. It's for a lot of other people who also chose this pile. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Okay, so pile on immediately as I'm tapping into your energy. Spirit is saying if you had this like weird moment one day, like randomly, and if this happened to you, you're going to know that I'm talking to you. You had this weird moment one day where you just felt like um, you had to like, how do I describe this? Spirit, how do you want me to describe this? It's like you had this like, and, okay, so let me use an example, and this is just an example, so I'm not saying that this is your case, but as an example to explain this easier. Imagine you're on Instagram, right? And, um, or no, let's imagine you're just like at home and you're just like scrolling on your phone or you're watching a movie or you're doing whatever, and for some reason you just feel like you have to pick up your phone and go look at who just viewed your story. You don't know why, but you just felt like that, and it's so random, there was no reason for you to do it, but you just felt it, and then like as you're looking through your story, you just saw this, this like random weird account, right? Or you just got this funny feeling that, you know... I don't know, like somebody was watching you on social media and then you get this random like from a page. I don't know, it was like, it was something random. Like it was like a feeling, a funny feeling. And then you looked and then there was something there. I'm getting that here. You'll know what this is if this is a message for you, okay? All right. Pile one. Spirit, who's stalking pile one? Who's stalking pile one? Who's watching those who chose pile one? This could be somebody who is very, 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 very distant. So this could be somebody who lives in a whole different country from you. Some of you guys that live on the opposite side of the country. Others of you guys, they don't speak the same language as you or like they do, but it's not their dominant language. Others of you guys, this could be somebody who's very well known, somebody who's very famous, or someone who just has like a lot of clout or just like a high status in society. And something about the people who, um, the people stalking this pile, it's very, 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 very secretive. Very, I, like I imagine this person has like an invisible cloak on because they really do not want you to know that they are looking at your page. For some, it's because of pride. Others of you guys, it's because they have no intentions on talking to you ever again. And then for others, it's like they're not supposed to be looking at your page because they're like really well known or something like that. For some, this could be someone who's well known and has a burner account. They follow you on their burner. Okay. I'm getting Capricorn energy from this pile as well. For some, this is someone who you knew in your past. Um, you guys knew each other. Like some of you guys were best friends growing up or they went to the same school as you. You guys come from the same neighborhood. I also see something about like getting to the top. So either you guys had similar goals and you actually achieved your goals and this person feels left out or this person like got really well known and you felt like you guys just kind of like disconnected for some this could be a fire sign i'm getting heavy aries energy but this could also be leo sagittarius i'm also getting masculine energy I'm getting a lot of pride here. So yeah, this person definitely does not want to be found out because of pride. Like, it'll hurt their ego if you were to ever find out that this person was watching you. I'm also seeing that this person, like, this was like, maybe you guys were going to become something but never became something. So it was like a failed relationship or a failed friendship. This person feels left behind by you for some of you guys where this was like a failed relationship or friendship or someone who you knew from your past. I'm seeing like friends too, like friends sitting together and like planning out their futures when they were younger. Like it also gives me that vibe too. 
And this person's like, we, we had these big dreams. We were supposed to do this together. We were supposed to do this together. Spirit, who's stalking pile one? Yeah, you had like big dreams with this person. Like you guys had big plans together to like conquer the world together or to do something together, but it just didn't work for whatever reason. Yeah, some of you guys, this was definitely a failed relationship. Absolutely a failed relationship. Something that was supposed to work out, but didn't end up working out. This is somebody who you fell out with. Either you guys had a breakup or for a lot of you guys, it seems like a relationship that was just getting off the ground or it didn't become a relationship yet. And then for some of you guys, it was a friendship that they had high hopes and you guys were becoming really close friends, but it just didn't get anywhere. I'm getting that type of vibe here. But of course, for some of you guys, this could definitely be someone who you actually were in like a real deal relationship with or somebody who you were very close to. But for the collective, like the majority of you guys, I'm getting this is either like a relationship or a situation that never took off or a friendship that never took off. Or if it was a huge friendship, it's because you guys knew you guys were best friends when you were younger. Heavy fire energy, like I said. Also a little bit of air, heavy Aquarius, Gemini. Spirit, so who's stopping pile one? Heavy Leo, Leo Aries. Or again, someone who's just really well known. Yeah, someone who's really well known. But someone who you had a falling out with. You guys fell out. This person could come from wealth or is very wealthy. This person could be very conventionally attractive. Libra, Scorpio, cusp. This is somebody, again, who does not want to be found out. So this is someone who you would never expect is watching you because, again, you don't know them and they could be famous. Or this is someone who you haven't heard of in a while. Or someone who just really made it seem like they were above you, they don't care about you, X, Y, and Z. This is someone you wouldn't expect. This is someone who like, yeah, like I could have gave you everything or we could have taken over together or we could have done something together. We could have came up together, but you fumbled it or I fumbled it. But again, this person has pride, so I don't think they're admitting that they fumbled it. I think they're saying you fumbled it. Not to say that they're right, but that's what they're saying. Spirit, who's stalking pile number one? Who's stalking pile number one? Who's stalking pile number one, Spirit? Who's stalking pile number one? There's someone, um, if this person is well-known and, like, you don't know this person at all, you never had an interaction with this person and they're well-known, they are stalking you to take ideas from you or to because they're inspired by you. Others of you, yeah, you have a lover, like, someone who, like, it was a failed attempt. Or someone who's very conventionally attractive. I'm 
I'm getting some sense of like this person feels above you or they feel like they could have elevated you like so this I don't know this person has a lot of pride it's like very much like I could have helped you out I could have elevated you we could have bossed up together but you ruined it like look what you did you ruined it this person has like a lot of pride Or someone who just feels like they're above you or they own you or they have authority over you. Okay, so let's see why they're stalking you. Just really quick, let's get like one message on why they're stalking you and then we'll end off the reading. Okay, Spirit, why are the people stalking Pile 1? Why are they stalking them? Why do they keep tabs on them? What is their intentions or what are their motives behind doing that? What are their intentions, Spirit? Why does Pile 1... Why do the people stalking Pile 1 stalk them? What are their intentions? For some of you guys, it's boredom. Like, they have nothing else to do. They're bored. Um, for some of you, again, they feel left behind, so they want to keep up with you. Like, you might have cut this person off, or they just feel like you've elevated past them, so they want to kind of just, like, keep up with what you're doing. Yeah, like I said, for the ones who resonate with the, like, this person is very possessive or they feel like they're above you or they have a huge pride or they feel like, you know, they could have elevated you, they watch you um, because, again, they still feel, like, possessive over you. They want to know what you're doing, what you're getting into, even though they also never want to be found out. Yeah, this is just like a keeping tabs for the sake of keeping tabs. Want to know what you're getting into. Some are just bored and then others are trying to, the ones where it's like, okay, this is someone famous watching you or someone well-known. It's to um, take inspiration. And yeah, for the ones who are really possessive over you, they just can't seem to let you go. Like, even though they might never be in your life again, they'll be in your life, like, energetically. And for the ones where this is just somebody who like you don't know at all and they live in like a whole different country than you, I feel like they have a crush on you. But that's like for a small percentage of people. I feel like the majority of this pile, this is either somebody who you used to date and fell out with or somebody who you turned down or somebody who you cut off or somebody who you elevated past or vice versa and they are bitter about it or they just want to keep tabs because they're possessive over you or they have a huge ego but again this pile seems very secretive it doesn't seem like they want to be found out it doesn't seem like they want you to like they want to come forward and message you and let you know even if you were to be like oh i know you're watching me they wouldn't like they'd be like what what are you talking about it's weird it's like they're obsessed with you but don't really want anything to do with you they don't really need anything from you i think they just get enough off of like watching you
Okay, last information spirit. Who's stalking pile one? Who's stalking pile one? Definitely Libra Scorpio cusp for some of you guys. Somebody who's very physically attractive or conventionally attractive, like I said, or somebody who's just like really well known or well liked. Yeah, definitely Libra Scorpio cusp, heavy Scorpio energy. Somebody who, again, has a high position in society. You might get more information on this in the next few weeks. Spirit is also saying advice for you guys. Keep it cute with what you post on social media because for a small percentage of you, there's somebody who's watching you who could elevate your position in life. So keep it cute. You guys are going to get more confirmation on this um, in the next few weeks. For some of you guys, it's going to be like a dream or just some sort of sign from the universe about this. Okay. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a deeper look on this, just book a personal reading with me. Contact at DrIndieEinstein.com is the email to contact me at or just click the description box below and my information for personal readings will be down there. If you want an in-person reading, if you are in the DMV area, Orlando, Miami, or LA, just let me know. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed pile two. Okay, hello Pile 2. Welcome to your pick a card reading. So we're going to look at who is stalking you. Keep in mind that this is a collective and general reading. So take what works, make your story. However, never force anything. If it doesn't resonate, just let it fly. It's not for you. It could possibly be for one of the other many people that chose this pile as well. Okay, so Pile 2, who's stalking you? Who's stalking you, Pile 2? <sighs> Spirit, can I get messages only? Who is stalking Pile 2? Who is watching or stalking or keeping tabs on Pile 2? Who is watching? Spirit, who is stalking Pile 2? Okay, so pile two, who's stalking you? This is definitely somebody who has some sort of romantic or sexual feelings for you or they're attracted to you, for sure. Absolutely. This is somebody who plans on um, making their move or someone who plans on eventually revealing themselves or wants to reveal themselves or would like to reveal themselves if they are going to do it i can't tell you that but i do know that this person is definitely attracted to you they're definitely into you and they want something with you for others this is someone who wants to collab with you in some way spirit who's stalking pile two who's stalking or keeping tabs on pile two yeah, this is definitely somebody who um, is interested in you or something that you have to offer, whether it's, again, someone who is attracted to you physically or romantically or sexually or somebody who wants to work with you. This person could have Sagittarius placements. This is definitely somebody who wants to make the first move, but they're afraid to make the first move or, or they're trying to like get you to make the first move. So this could definitely be somebody who like likes your pictures or likes your stories or is an active follower. They're not like hiding or anything like that, but they just watch your page a lot or, you know, they keep up with you a lot. This is somebody who's deciding whether or not they should just bite the bullet and, you know, come forward. So 
after the stocking pile two. The stocking pile two. This is definitely a completely different energy than the pile one. Yeah, this is somebody who like um definitely has a crush on you, likes you, but is afraid to come forward. You've probably never talked to this person before. If anything, they might have commented on a picture, liked your picture, or liked your story, but I don't think they've ever vocalized to you how they feel, or I don't think they've ever came forward and told you. So you might not even be aware that this person likes you, or you might not even know who this person is. But they definitely watch you. They definitely keep tabs on you because they're they're interested in you. So they look at your pictures that they're afraid to speak or they're not sure if they should speak because they don't want to like, I don't know, they don't want to be rejected possibly. Now, for a very small percentage of you, like tiny, 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 I get a creepy vibe from some of the people watching you or the person watching you. Um, so yeah, for some of you guys, okay, someone who likes you, is interested in you, is, wants to reach out, wants to take you on a date, I don't see anything too crazy, like, they just really like you. For now, a small percent, like really, really tiny, 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 <laughs> like tiny, um small percentage of you now for a small percentage of you i feel like this is somebody who like i get a creepy vibe for like a small percent like somebody who like i don't know is like a little too obsessed or does things they definitely should not be doing if you know what i mean like i don't know it just but that's for a small percentage of you, and I'm only bringing it up. So don't, like, be like, oh, that's for me. Like, you know, this is only for you if you suspected this. Now, how could you suspect something like this? Okay, so, for example, if you, because um, this happened to me before, if you had an astral travel that somebody was doing something weird to you or your pictures, okay? I'm leaving it at that. That's This is your confirmation. If you got this icky feeling that maybe okay I shouldn't post certain pictures or certain content because I feel like somebody's doing something this is for you as well like this is your confirmation only take things like this as confirmation don't force the story and be like oh this is for me because I'm saying it is that's why I said it's only for a small percentage of you guys where it's creepy and it gives me vibes of like someone who's really obsessive and like does weird things Okay, spirit, who's stalking pile two? Who's stalking pile two? Yeah, this is definitely somebody who's like not confident, like not confident in their ability to like pull you. They're just afraid to ask you out. So they're like, okay, let me just not say anything or let me send telepathic signals or let me just like their pictures a bunch. Possible fire sign energy, Aries, like I said, heavy Sagittarius. I'm also getting a younger vibe. So this could be someone who's younger than you or just has like a young spirit or a young soul or they're just immature. They don't have much experience dating maybe. Yeah, they're afraid that you're going to reject them. So they don't have the confidence to come forward and tell you that they like you. So they stalk you. But I do feel like a good portion of these people want to come forward and like let you know they're just waiting on the perfect moment or they're trying to like gain the courage to do so. Okay, so let's clear this. Let me see if I can get like some someone else like okay besides the people who have someone watching them because they like them romantically is there anybody else watching this pile okay 
Is there anybody else stalking this pile besides someone who is romantically or sexually attracted to them? Anybody else? Or is it just that? Anybody else watching Pile 2 Spirit or stalking Pile 2? For some, this is the ex. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is the, if you are dating someone currently, whether a relationship where you guys have just been seeing each other and other people know about it, this is the ex of that person watching you. Or for others of you guys, this is um, your ex's current partner is watching you. And this person is very insecure and might even feel like your ex is still talking to you. Or if this is the ex of the person you're talking to, they are jealous of you and want to get back with your current partner. For some, they could be evil eyeing the relationship or evil eyeing you or trying to mess up this connection. I'm seeing like someone comes to your page, see something and then like sends it to somebody else also. Like, they'll see something and then send it to somebody else. So this could even be a situation where, okay, you have a, let's say you have, um, this is actually a situation for some of you guys. Let's say you are the girlfriend or the boyfriend of somebody and their ex is, like, keeping tabs on you, but they're doing it through their friends page. So some of them might not have an Instagram, so they have to watch you through their friend's page or their friend also knows of you, so sends like your post to them. For others of you, if you are the ex of somebody, their friend might send updates of you to them because you have them blocked. Watching pile too. Yeah, this is definitely someone's ex or someone watching your page for your ex or the current partner of your ex. I'm seeing a lot of insecurity from these people. This person may even try to mimic you if they feel like it'll get your um, your person or your ex to like that person more. Spirit, who is stalking Pyro too? Spirit, who is stalking Pyro too? Spirit, who's stalking Pile 2? Yeah, so this is definitely somebody... So for the first half of you guys, for one half of you, this is somebody who is romantically interested or sexually interested, physically interested, but they don't have the courage to come forward. They're younger or inexperienced. And then for a small percentage of that half, this is someone who's creepy, who's obsessive, who's doing weird things to your stuff. Um, and then for the second half of you, this is somebody who is the ex of your current partner or your someone's ex and their current partner is watching you and keeping tabs on you due to insecurities. Or they're, or they're doing it through their friend's account.
Yeah. For some of you, you're someone's muse. Like, they're really, like, interested in you to the point where, like, you inspire them and they use you for creative inspiration. But it's not like pile one where the person was doing it in, like, a sneaky way and trying to take from that pile. For pile two, it's more so, like, they would give you, like, credit or they would tell you, like, hey, I made this painting for you. You know, things like that. If they have the courage to. And then for the ones where it's the ex or the current partner of your ex, this person, I don't like their energy. They're so insecure that they're actually trying to do things. They're like sending you evil eye. For a small, small, small percent, it could be magic. But I'm not going to say that it is. Only if you have suspicions already. This is your confirmation. But I just get evil eye. Like they're looking at your pictures, talking shit, sending it to people. Or trying to sabotage your relationship. Okay. Get a few more cards and then move on to pile three. Is there any last information for pile two? I'm just stalking them. This is someone whose birthday could be in July or September. And those are important months for some reason. This person is like the one who's like stalking you because you are someone's ex or someone's current partner. They are like not mentally or emotionally stable. Or they're just very immature. They definitely give me like young vibes or like just really immature, emotionally stunted vibes. And then for some, this if you guys get a message from somebody like, hey, or like, uh, I think you're very beautiful, just know that this person has been wanting to do this. And not to like out them or anything, but they've been wanting to do this for a while and they're finally coming forward. This is not someone who's just now following you and it's just now coming across you. No, they've been wanting to do this. They're just finally like doing it. Yeah, for some, there's definitely someone, like, for the second half of you guys, this person is definitely trying to sabotage something here for you or your relationship because they're insecure, they're jealous. Yeah, for a small percentage of you, they're, like, I feel like they're doing stuff, like, it's giving candles, lighting candles and, like, shaking and crying in front of a mirror about it okay so up your protection please okay so pile two that's what i have for you guys if you guys want confirmation on anything or if you want a deeper reading or just a personal reading in general contact at drindyeinstein.com or just go to my website drindyeinstein.com and click private sessions and fill out a form if you're in the dmv area la orlando or miami and you want an in-person reading over the next month just let me know Okay. All right. Last but not least, pile three. Who has been stalking your page and keeping tabs on you? Let's get right into it. These piles have been interesting so far because the energy has been very different from pile to pile. So I'm excited to see what you guys get. So spirit, clear your active messages only. Who is keeping tabs on or stalking pile three? I'm seeing something with T. This person's name can start with a T. Their first or last initial, or this could be the first or last initial for you and just confirmation that this is your pile. I'm seeing somebody's wearing a shirt with like a TV show, like a cartoon TV show on it. This could be confirmation again that you're supposed to be listening to this pile or this is the person that I'm picking up on who's watching you. 
Also keep in mind that this is a collective reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I feel like this is my spiritual pile, and all of my pick a card readings is always that one pile that's like really spiritual. I feel like this is my spiritual pile. You guys are pretty spiritual, pretty intuitive. So I can't I can messages only. Yeah, I feel like you guys are pretty intuitive, pretty spiritual. So you guys might have even done a reading on this already or have gotten a reading done already. This is somebody who you suspect. Someone who you know. Someone who you've seen stalking you in a dream or you've received confirmation on it. And this will just be further confirmation for you guys. Which is interesting because the first two piles, I was like, okay, this could be someone who you don't know at all. But for this pile, you guys definitely know this person or you've suspected that this person has been watching you. Here, who's stalking pile three? Who's stalking pile three? Who's stalking pile three? Yeah, you guys definitely know who this person is already, um, or you guys suspected it. You guys are definitely very spiritual, very intuitive. This person could have cancer or Virgo placements, or you have cancer or Virgo, Virgo placements, and this is your confirmation that this is for you. Spirit clear, I can message only. Who's stalking pile three? Who's stalking or keeping tabs on pile three? I'm getting a lot of pain in this pile. This seems like... Something with betrayal or trust issues, pain, hurt. So some of you guys, this is someone who you had a, a very bad falling out with or this person betrayed you or this person just really feels deep, 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 deep feelings for you. And that's probably why they showed up in your dreams if they did, because they have a deep emotional connection or attachment to you. There could be some regrets here. This person definitely regrets what they've done, if they've done anything to cause this relationship or connection to stop. This person definitely regrets it, and this person even contemplates coming forward and saying something or apologizing or reaching out. Virgo placements, Cancer placements, Sagittarius placements. Possibly Gemini. I'm seeing something abrupt or painful. This ending was very abrupt or painful. This person ghosted you or like did something to betray you. And that's why you guys stopped talking or vice versa. You ghosted them or you did something to betray them. I don't know. But it's like everything was going really, really good until, <clears throat> until it wasn't. And for some of you guys, you guys actually got ghosted by this person. You still don't know why this person hasn't came forward yet or why this person ghosted you or why this person just disappeared. It's like contact was just shut. Interesting. Spirit, who is stalking Kyle 3? Who is stalking? Some of you guys have a child with this person. That's for a small percentage of you guys, though. Or you've thought about having kids with this person. Like, it was a really deep connection. And then this person just ghosted you or something of the sort. And they didn't give you a reason on why they left either. But they watch you. 
they watch you with regret they wish that they could come forward so it's like there's something blocking this person from being able to come forward why can't this person come forward or why is this per why did this person ghost them why can't this person come forward Something about distractions and temptations. You were a distraction or a temptation. So if you were a temptation, that means they're not supposed to be involved with you. Like they could have a partner already or something about you they're just not supposed to be getting involved with. And then for a distraction, maybe this person has a goal and they're just really set on their boundaries. And that's only for some of you. For others of you guys, this is someone who hurt you or betrayed you. So we're going to get more information on who's stalking Pile 3. Yeah, it's like this is someone who just like kind of left, stopped talking to you. Or maybe you ghosted them. I don't know. But regardless, this person feels regret. So if they ghosted you, they feel regretful. If you ghosted them... They're like, damn, why this person ghosted me? Or why this person cut me off? What did I do? For the ones where this person left or stopped talking to you because they're trying to chase some sort of goal or dream, they're really focused on that. Like, really, really focused on that. For some, they could have felt like you were a distraction or you were too much drama or you guys just fought too much. For some, they could be a part of like a group or like a collective. I know this sounds like really like weird, but they could be a part of like a group or a collective or an organization where they can't talk to other people right now. Like some sort of like hazing process or orientation process, or they just like can't speak to you because it goes against their values. But they think about you a lot, but they just can't come forward for whatever reason. Something's blocking them. You might have even tried to reach out a few times and it's like, you just didn't hear anything. Okay, so let's pull another thing for people who either don't resonate with that or for people who like, it's also somebody else. And see if we can get another archetype or collective of people who could be watching. So Spirit, is there anybody else stalking Pile 3 other than this person or people that we picked up on already? Is there anybody else stalking or keeping tabs on Pile 3? There's a lot of pain in this pile. I don't know if it's because of this situation or if you guys just have like a heavy heart in general. Right now, you guys definitely need to do some emotional releasing I'm seeing. Spirit, who else is stalking Pile 3, if anybody else? Who's stalking Pile 3? Who's stalking Pile 3? I'm hearing I want to go home. Some of you guys, maybe this is somebody who's in jail. And that's why they can't contact you. Who's stalking pile three? Who's talking pile three spirit? I just can't shake that first energy that I pulled for already. So I'm not going to say that this doesn't mean anybody else is like 
This doesn't mean that there's no one else stalking you or keeping tabs on you, but I just generally feel like this energy is coming in so strong that it's blocking me for being able to pick up on anybody else or anything else or anyone else who is watching you. It's harmless. Like, it's not that big of a deal for you to know. But so the main, like, energy of this pile who's stalking you, it's somebody who deeply regrets how things turn out or someone who deeply misses you, but for some reason they can't come forward. Some of them know they couldn't come forward, but now they can, so they will. But they're contemplating it because they're afraid that you're going to reject them or you're not going to want to speak to them. Spirit, who is stalking and keeping tabs on pile three? Okay, you guys are like my sad emotional pile. Pile two is like really loved base, love base or vindictive, and then Pile one was like jealousy, pride, ego, and sneaky. This is like really s like sad, deep, depressing. Spirit, who's stalking pile three? Someone wishes that they can change how things played out. Someone wants to change the past. For others of you guys, this could be a past life partner or a karmic partner. And this is just confirmation that this is in fact a karmic partner or a past life partner for those who have been wondering. Spirit, who's stalking? Spirit, who's stalking Kyle up there? This is someone who's afraid to like this is someone who's afraid to come forward and let you know that they miss you because of how things played out for some of you guys you have children with this person or kids are involved in some way for others of you guys this is a parent Sarah, who's stalking? Okay, this is somebody who is like really depressed over this or is just depressed in general. And so they're going through a lot emotionally and on top of that, they miss you a lot. For some of you guys, you guys are depressed over this situation. Or you guys are dealing with something emotionally at this time. There's just like a lot of pain and regret here, honestly. But yeah, some for some of you guys, a small percentage, this is somebody who's in jail. Or like for whatever reason, they're in some sort of situation where they're not allowed to use the phone, they're not allowed to contact people. Or they don't know they don't want you to know where they are. So for some, this person could also be in rehab. Or they just, I don't know. For some, they're in a relationship. And they've always been in a relationship and they lied to you about it. Or for others, they've gotten into a new relationship. So feel like it's inappropriate to come forward. But they still think about you. For some, it's apparent. So only who's stopping or keeping tabs and pile of dirt. This is someone who thinks about like speaking to you again and is like trying to manifest that opportunity, but they feel like you might not want to speak to them. They feel like they lost you. This is someone whose life has been turned upside down. They're going through some sort of karmic cycle right now. For some of you guys, this is somebody whose birthday is in April or April is important here. Maybe you guys haven't talked since April. Is that this person is definitely manifesting a new beginning with you, but they just don't know how to go about it. Others of you guys, you were um, engaged to this person or this person had a wife or a husband. 
and they never told you about it. And they had to stay with that person because they have kids together or something financial. So you're like, can I can message this only? Okay, last few cards. Something with the spring time is important here. So this could be last spring time around April or this upcoming spring time. Something's going to happen here. You're going to receive information. This person could have also unexpectedly got someone else pregnant and they didn't want to tell you. Or they're pregnant by somebody else and didn't want to tell you. But this person is going through a lot. So if you're wondering how somebody who ghosted you is doing what they got going on, if they're happy, they have a lot going on. I don't think they're in a good space, honestly. All right. So pile three, that is what I have for your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a personal reading to get more clarification on this or just anything else, contact the doctor in the Einstein.com is my email. If you guys want to book an in-person reading and you're in the DMV area, LA, Orlando, or Miami, just message me as well for that. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great night. Bye.